an early start, almost a rude start for the likes of these sort of gentlemen. They're used to being treated an awful lot better than this, <laughs> Ari Vatten, and he's just uh, come to terms with the fact that he's not going to be anywhere near the podium in this Dakar. And they all had to get involved with the cleanup operation themselves, just like the bikers. Well, being asked if he's got any spare fluid to uh, clean everything out there. Well, they've got the north of the numbers sorted. And look at this, Pet Answer says it's impressive. Never seen anything like it before. Once in Tunisia, but never on the Dakar here. There's mud everywhere, and we're trying to get the best of it off. Well, with such a big vehicle, it's quite a few kilos of the stuff, and it was stuck on like plaster of Paris or even cement in places. And uh, they really did have to work hard, particularly, uh, as you can see, in all the bits that had anything to do with air intake and cooling systems. It was a difficult day. It was always going to be, but it was made even more so by the conditions. Absolutely shocking, just to sort of start you off. Amazing. So, time to go. Time to get ready, <laughs> time to get heavy, and two tons of love. Look at this, Robbie Gordon was just off. Well, he was off the leash yesterday. Take a look at this, who on earth was going to keep up with that machine? 4,500 pounds of power, six litre V8. <laughs> it's a good job he's got good sponsorship because the fuel bill is absolutely enormous. It was a day for the buggies. Gordon was to take this one, Jean-Louis Schlesser was to finish second, Guess what the difference was between them after 394 kilometers of racing special? 17 seconds. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jean-Louis was out there, well, after his stage win that encouraged him. He wasn't hanging around at all. In fact, he spared us a few words on board. Well, we kind of dropped in. Stop cutting the corner, pay attention to what I'm saying, says his co-driver. And he does. That's the great thing about Jean-Louis. He looks like a bear. He looks really mean, but he's just a teddy bear, really. He says, I've seen it. I have got the message, he says. A little bit of frisson between them, but it works well. They're a terrific outfit. And uh, I'll just watch out for Schleser and De Bromp by the end. They need to stop shouting at each other and just get on with it. Doing more than 190 kilometers an hour on a difficult surface. He loves it, though. The smile, never that far away. Very good, he said. Now you're listening, and now you're fighting. Oh, it was lovely out there watching them. Tremendous. Look at the speeds. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, the sandstorm would stop, thank goodness, because uh, it can, at high speed, actually put a frost on the windows, would you believe? There you go. Gilles de Villiers. He's not out of it yet. Uh, he's in. Uh, he's still in second place, don't forget, behind Carlos Seitz overall, and trails him by just three minutes and 11. He wanted to put a lot of space between himself and uh, Seitz, if at all possible. Co-driver Dirk von Zitzewitz knows the terrain well. This is Carlos Sainz, though, and he was taking it uh, by his own standards quite steadily today. Loves this technical stuff, and it gets wide open. Seems to be happier there as well. Main concern for Sainz is other VWs. Finished fourth today. The gap has been closed by De Villiers, who finished ahead of him, but Sainz was just behind as today's leader overall. Wow. Carlos Sainz. <laughs> Try keeping up with that. Well, the man who was trying his best was Peter Hansel. PH, and he's got the PH balance absolutely bag on. <laughs> Only losing 32 seconds to the Spaniard today. That's how hard Peter Hansel was pushing. Finished fifth. Fifth in the overall standings. He's the best of the Mitsubishis. Or at least he was today. Alfont still ahead of him in the overall ranking. Nasser Alataya on board his BMW. He was uh, quickest on a number of uh, spots. Was looking handy. Six he finished today. Tenth overall. He had to watch it out there, though. It was a little bit scary and hairy. Souza. Great run for him. Thirteenth today. But maintains third spot overall. Well, Luke Alfond is not sparing the horses either. Foot to the boards, and if you're wondering why on earth Mitsubishi aren't atop the standings, well, it's because they're being caught, quite frankly, and you they don't have the answer either.
Luke Alfon finishing eighth today. He's fourth overall, 24 minutes off the pace, eight seconds only ahead of Peter Hansel in the ranking. Mark Miller on the VW, ninth today, eighth overall. Well, lights ablaze is all very well for Gerland Shisharit. He was to overtake Nani Roma. He was trying his best to stay away from him here, as you can see. Look at the performance difference here. Gerland Shisharit in the BMW. Maybe he was going just a bit too fast because Vatnan has already told you what happened to him when he hit the bumpy stuff. It wasn't pretty. And thank goodness he was all right. Harry Vatnan, the gentleman, first to him, helped him out, calmed him down, just uh, taking some of the shock away from him. That's what Vatnan was talking about. It was end over end, as you can see. Nothing wrong with the side panels. Well, Holovchich having a much more pleasant time of things in the Nissan. Finished 10th today, 18th overall. Nissan certainly not out of this Dakar. Very much a part of it. Hiroshi Matsuoka, later on today, he was seen to be arguing with team officials and mechanics. Don't know what his complaints are, but he's had so much ill fortune in this rally. If he's not punctious, it seems to be mechanical. Some other obstacles you've got to watch out for as well. take a look at how they finished today. Unbelievable. Robbie Gordon doing the business. Home in less than three hours. Amazing. Schlesser just 17 seconds behind him ahead of De Villiers, Sainz and Peter Hansel. It's pretty much the same overall with Sainz still in the lead. The Hummer's been running good the whole time. Uh, we just got some bad gas and we lost three hours. Uh, we did a lot of testing over the winter time and we felt this stage right here, if we could run with these guys here, uh, we'd be able to win the rally. So it's just a disappointment that we lost that three hours, but we'll see what happens. It's a long ways to go still. And Jean Louis, animated as ever, said very fast stage, straight lines. A surprise. It was very difficult to overtake others, but it was a good special. Something de plus. No, it was quite fast in the, in the beginning and also at the end, but uh, in the middle it was quite rough, you know, the camel grass, a uh, few pieces of camel grass crossing the dunes, so for about 40 or 50 kilometers it was quite rough, you know, uh, but not too bad, uh, generally quite a fast stage and uh, we didn't have any problems, so uh, okay. And Luca Van saying, uh, well, on some levels, it was very good. It's uh, a great fight. Uh, there's some gaps to make up. We're losing time each day. BW takes some risks. There's a long way to go.